Hey Taurus, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading. I was forgot to put these on the side, but we have Witches, no, sorry, Green Witch Tarot, After Tarot, which we'll be using at the end of this reading because it's a two-week reading, uh, Ms. Cleo deck, and we are starting with the Everyday Oracle Sibylla deck. This is an Italian deck, so you're going to hear how bad I am at Italian. Okay. <laughs> My gr Italian grandmother would not want to hear that, but it's true. All right, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Taurus. This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. This reading uh, could, anything could come out in this reading right to the last second and sometimes even click off and I come back on at the very end with random messages or things that come out after I've clicked off. It happens. Anyway, I don't know why it happens that way, but it happens sometimes and they could be random messages for anyone or they could have something to do with the actual reading. I never know. Anyway, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Taurus or anyone else who's guided to see this Taurus reading. What do we need to know? What are the messages? This is a two-week reading. Ooh, Fortuna. That's like the best card in the deck. Beautiful. It's cornucopia. It's the wheel turning. It's com la conversation. Beautiful. All right, you're going to have some kind of conversation. This is going to be very positive. Oh, boy, positive is going to turn the wheel. It's going to bring in that cornucopia. What do we need to know? What is this about? Oh, it's something about the uh, La Namica for the beautiful Giovanni Fanicula. Okay, so he, this is so interesting. So it has something to do with a female enemy, La Namica. And look at how the Giovanni Fanicula doesn't even look at her. Like she's facing away from her. She really just really doesn't want anything to do with her. So this also could be a conversation with someone who is, wow, very jealous of you. Look at this. This is at the bottom of your deck. Uh, Desperado per jealousia is at the bottom of your deck. So this La Namika could have something to do with someone who's very jealous of you and you're going to have a conversation with this person or with someone about this person or you're getting when when we say la conversation this could even be information you receive crazy let's find out what is this about all right we'll find out in a second won't we spirit and angels anyone for the highest good i'm gonna warn you guys i am cooking lunch for my daughter so i when the timer goes off when i hear the alarm go off i have to pause you you really won't even know i'm gone but it will happen all right spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know taurus reading what do we need to know taurus reading this is for anyone who's guided to see it whenever they're guided this could resonate now or later on anything could come out right till the very last second starting with the tower and if you guys know my channel i say it all the time when the tower is the first card out of the tarot deck it's usually a great reading all right let's find out what else do we need to know what else do we need to know Okay, the devil. Ooh. So the tower is going to, um, the tower is basically going to sever the tie with the devil. And the devil could be somebody who's third party. This could be somebody you know from work. This could be somebody who's been causing you trouble. What else do we need to know here? Whatever this tower is, it was necessary here to uh, detach you from something. Oh, that's right. These are the two-week readings. Okay, we're going to do them this way. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. And what else? The Empress. Beautiful. She's here again. Giovanni Fenicula. That's her. Okay, three of swords. You got the three of pentacles and the three of swords and the four of cups and the five of swords and the king of pentacles in the reverse. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. That could be why the devil's here. Um, you also could be dealing with um, the 
the tower could be Scorpio. You know, this Empress, I'm positive is your energy. If it's not your energy, I'd be surprised. If you're a masculine, then you have somebody really, really great around you. Um, I feel as though there's so much going on back here. I really don't want to get into it, but you do have the nine of cups right here. Something you've waited for. The hanged man's now reversed. So you could have been in some kind of a drama right there and you've been waiting for that ace of wands to come in this wish fulfillment new beginning um this like i said that hangman's reverse now it's because the tower is like like separating you from something uh ten of coins reversed page of swords and this king of coins reversed i feel like there's something going on around this feels financial to me but it could be family related um, but what I really feel is happening here is there's someone you have an issue with or that has an issue with you. They're coming up as the female enemy, but here we have the king of coins reversed as well. So this could be either or really. But what I see is whoever this empress is just dealing with somebody and this could be two people. It could be the female enemy and the king of coins. Um, oh, hold on one sec, guys. Okay, thanks for understanding, guys. Kiddo's got to eat. Um, so I see here that there's something going on between you and uh, somebody who is very jealous of you. I mean, they're coming up desperate, desperato per jealousia la namica. So this is usually a female enemy. And then somebody's going to talk to you about this, or somebody's going to tell you something, or you're going to find out something. This is like that tower moment, but this tower moment. I feel is also going to be the thing that allows you to get away from this person. This person could be five of swords trying to take advantage, could be a bully, could be, um, you know, there could be anything. This, this person could be, um, I thought they left my mind. There was something else I was going to say and it left my mind. But really what I see here is there's been a lot of um, upsetment around this. Um, because you don't, you have the three of coins upside down. You have the uh, three of swords in the upright. You have the four of cups here. Um, these are all, you know, difficult energies. And, you know, they're coming off the heels of that tower. And I feel like um, what's happening here is this tower is the moment it all something's happening. You're, this is Fortuna for you, though. So this wheel turns. And this conversation happens and this blows up the devil, so to speak. It it caught it gets rid of the problem, really. Let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do you what do we need to know about this reading? What do we need to know? I almost said spirit, what do you know about this situation? <laughs> exactly. What do we need to know about this situation? What is important? What do we need to know? Taurus reading for anyone who's guided to see it. Whenever they're guided to see it, Taurus reading. All right, let's take a look at that uh, tower. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, the moon. So you might not see this coming, and this could be like something secretive happening. And look, the two of cups and the tower in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So, um, yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune's back there, too. And so is the Ten of Pentacles. Repeat, 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 repeat everywhere. Wow. Okay, so let's find out because your Ten of Pentacles is in reverse right there. I'm just going to leave it alone and we're going to ask about the devil right now. What about the devil? Nine of Pentacles. All right, so the Nine of Pentacles, again... This could be a financial situation. It could have something to do with work even. This could be masculine or feminine or two people or a group. It could definitely, three, all these threes and the conversation's a group as well. Tell me about the three of coins reversed. What do we need to know? Three of coins reversed. What is this about? The eight of pentacles almost came out, but it, I saw it and it went back in. Three of coins reversed. What do we need to know? Is this a choice between... Give me the two of pentacles reversed and the three of pentacles reversed. Two and three of pentacles reversed. Empress reversed shows up. All right, so this is something that's been going on or someone has been juggling three. Three of pentacles again. You have all three three of pentacle cards and they're all like right here. This is crazy. All right, so, so what are we talking about here? 
This looks to me like something that's been going on between three people. No doubt about three, 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 three everywhere. All right, let's get another look. So for the Empress reversed with the Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, you also got the Three of Pentacles again. So there's two, I feel like there's two people here that were juggling between. There's something going on. Tell me about this. Um, tell me about the Three of Swords. I want to know more about the Three of Swords. Whoa, that's way too many. I cannot take all these. I'm only going to take what's face up, and I don't even know what this one is, but it's face down. We've got the Page of Chalices, the Ace of Chalices, and the Witch, which is the Magician. And if you look really closely, you know, the Aces are ones, and the Magician, these are both ones, and the Ace is in reverse, but the Page is in the upright. So this really says to me... Um, is someone manifesting this? There's something here about a rejection. So somebody putting the cup out and the other person like slapping it out of their hands. That's what I see. Let me look at the four of cups. But there might be a good reason for this because it looks to me like somebody was juggling too. Tell me about the four of cups here. What do we need to know? Four of cups. The queen of cups there could this could be the other person like there's an empress and a queen of cups and a king uh who's in the reverse uh but both of these queens are really in the upright tell me about this five of swords and look at this person like they're trying they're looking back thinking they got away with three see how they got three in their hand this is kind of like it's like exactly like the seven of swords in most decks but it's the five of swords so I got away with three. Tell me about the five of swords. What about the five of swords? I'm, so I'm thinking somebody didn't get away with anything. Tell me about the five of swords. What do we need to know? Five of swords. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have the page. No, the knight of cups and the page of Is this the page of wands? It's funny. It's the page of wands, but it almost, it kind of looked to me like it, that he was holding a sword. But it's uh, the Page of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So somebody's coming in to either apologize or say something. So I feel like someone's going to tell you something. This to me is someone coming in. Whoever you're going to ha have the conversation with is coming in to talk to you about this other person who's been doing all this juggling. Tell me about this Empress. What about the Empress? Yeah. The world tree. This is the green man. It's actually the fool taking a leap of faith. Uh, the green man is the fool, but on this in this deck they have the world on it. So this is not just the new beginning, the zero card of the fool. Fool is the first card in tarot, but it also shows us the end of the old cycle. So this new cycle, remember this whole reading started off with the wheel turning cornucopia this actually ends up being a really good thing this is the wheel turning and abundance and this is the wheel turning and abundance the the world tree and empress which also represents abundance abundance and the full the zero card the very beginning somebody's going to say something to someone and that thing that they say is going to cause them to slap the cup out of somebody's hand and i feel leave them that's what I really feel. I feel like someone's going to find out that something's been going on behind their back and it's going to be the catalyst for someone to blow the devil out of the building and become single. Nine of Pentacles. I can definitely see this happening and this really feels like once we lose whatever's been holding us down or holding us back and filling our life with secrets and BS and juggling, once we lose them, we end up in this really high vibration of the Nine of Pentacles Empress in a whole new cycle. It's really beautiful. I want to know more about the Queen of Cups with the Four of Cups. What about the Queen of Cups with the Four of Cups? What do we need to know?
Queen of, okay, there it goes. I see it. Ten of Wands reverse, dumping the burden. I don't need the burden anymore. Goodbye. I feel like, um, is this the same exact person? Because this person's doing the same thing this person's doing. It, I almost feel like the person who's going to say something is going to be the person. So in other words, the two women are the two that talk. That's why we have the female enemy, the jealous person speaking. And then we find out the truth behind this. So there's going to be two women that have a conversation and the truth comes out about this person here. Um, this is the way it's coming out here. Now, could it be the opposite? Sure, because we do have an empress in the reverse up here, but she's really in the reverse because there's something going on over here in the partnership, two of cups. But I'm going to ask about it. Why is the empress reversed? Three because somebody's been juggling three and she's healing three of pentacles for the fourth at least time in this reading and the four of swords she's reversed because she's trying to heal from something we also have the other queen who's also trying to heal four of cups and dumping the burdens goodbye i'm telling you these two women diss someone else after finding out like they they it's almost like they come to a truce Right, And they talk about this person who was trying to get away with three. This all comes about because one of these two people says, I'm going to have a conversation with the other woman because I, like they found out about it or it was, it was a secret. And then the secret comes out. You guys have to let me know about this. I'm going into the next, the next deck here. And again, this is the after tower. We're going into the following week here and we're going to see what comes next in the situation. Remember, this doesn't have to be a romantic thing if, you know, if for most of you it probably is. But for some of you, this could be another area. This could be like two co-workers coming together and both talking about the boss that's been trying to, you know, hit on both of them. Or, you know, this could be something totally unrelated to romance. So remember this. This could be two sisters that get together and talk about something in the family that's been really crappy and they come to terms with, I know about this, so do I know about this. This could be anything, right? So try to figure out what it is. Well, I'm, I'm sure you will know. You shouldn't even have to figure it out. You should already know what it is that you are going to have this conversation about this with this other person about and the two of you are going to pull the plug on the one person. Like it's two people the talk and the cat's out of the bag something like that all right let's let's move on and see what's next here spirit and angels anyone uh for the highest good what do we need to know here about what is next here in this situation taurus reading for anyone who's guided taurus reading for anyone who's guided and you know this this empress goes right into a new cycle and this queen of cups dumps all burdens and she's healing they're both healing empress is healing from third party queen of cups is healing from having to carry all these burdens and look at what comes out queen of wands and queen of cups and king of pentacles same thing three people unbelievable and i don't care that this isn't exactly the same but it's very very close you know uh, very unbelievable that those three came out. So what is next here in this party, third party situation, no matter what it's about? What is this about here, please? Two of Wands. What else? This is really, I could swear something flipped over. I could swear something flipped over, but if I see it, I will let you know. What else do we need to know here? What else is next for this two-week reading? What energy are we going into the second week with, please? What happens next? Three, three of Pentacles for the fifth time. Fifth time that this came out. Page of Pentacles. What else? 
and Archangel Michael with Temperance and the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Holy, oh my Lord. And I mean that. Holy, holy. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Talk about the end of a cycle. And I am not kidding you. When I said going into a new cycle, boy, did we mean it. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Ten, 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 Wheel of for Fortune, World this cycle's done. Uh, this had to do with three, 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 three. And for some of you, this was money and work related. I have got to say that because it, spirit keeps um, saying to me, this is three of pentacles. This is three of pentacles. This is three of pentacles for so many of you. So this tells me we've got a 50, 50 split here where for some of you, this can be relationship, but for some of you, this is something more related to money and finances or work or business. So keep that in mind. And when this is done, we're going to know what um, path to go down. I think two people are going to go down a path together, but I, I don't mean romantically. I mean, they're going to, they're going to have this conversation and they're going to call out that third person who was doing whatever they were doing. Uh, you guys have to let me know about this. I am so interested in this reading. I would love to keep going on this reading and dig and dig and dig. But the main thing we needed to know here is this involves three people and this is now at coming to a complete close with that tower coming down and breaking the pattern here, breaking the tie that bound you to this. I'd love to know. But I think it's very, like I said, it's very positive. It's like two people get together and they go, wait a minute, we're going to pull the plug on this. This is ridiculous. And they pull it. Um, I would love, love, love to be a fly on the wall on this. If you guys would like to comment down below, please do. I'm very intrigued. I'm going to pull a couple of angel cards here. Angels, what do we need to know here, please? Okay. Kindness. That's excellent. Whoa, I just dropped them. Yeah, there they are. They're the ones I had. I'm like, I saw them and then they fell out of my hand back into the bowl. Creativity kindness popped right out excellent and abundance so creativity says for a lot of you this is about work or business look at the abundance it's the first thing that came out the abundance card this in this deck is cornucopia see it it's the wheel of fortune fortuna but it's cornucopia this is so th i really think for some of you this involves money please do comment down below i'd love to hear from you guys and if somebody comes in to talk to you about this I would say be open to it because this actually could end up being very, very favorable. All right. Talk to you soon, guys. Don't forget to hit that like on this video and keep these Taurus videos growing. I appreciate you guys. Taurus is awesome. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.